Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad. Queen Jolene's on the camera and we are on air. Today is, is going to be exciting for me because plans have changed, design has changed on the Bugatti Hauler. Um, the whole time that I have been putting this thing together, I've been thinking it's going to be hauling the Bugatti. And I, I'm trying to make it fit with each other. We started with the grill, then we went to the headlights, and now I want to go to the fin. The fin on the car down to the center is very distinctive on the Bugatti. Now I'm thinking I want to put a fin on this thing. There was a comment sent in. Someone had drew a little picture, a little rendering of the hauler with a fin on it. And I want to thank you because that got my brain um, working on the fin. And I'm going to go with a fin on the back of this. You stay tuned on this one here. We'll give you a visual of what kind of fin I'm going to put on it. I, I just want to draw a few pictures to show you that there's many different fins you could put on it. Um, you can pick the one that you like. I think I know what, what I like, but I'm going to draw a couple. We have uh, the Bugatti windows up here. This is basically the Bugatti hauler. We're going like that. We want to put a fin on the back of the bad boy. Um, it's not exactly like that, but we're just drawing it quickly. We could put, we, I thought about it, we could put something on the back, maybe like, like that. Um, we could put something on the back of it. It's so nice just to draw this picture, it's so easy because I can just do that and then you, then you know what's going on. Um, we can put a fin on it like, like that. We can put a fin on it like, Like this. We can do that. If I draw too many pictures, I might change my mind. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a little one like that. Bring it down there like that. There's so many things um, that we can do on the on the hauler. Uh, to make it look a little bit different. The one I am going to choose is, yeah, I'm gonna make up my mind. I'm gonna choose this one. And the reason being is, I, I, just, I just sort of like that. I'm gonna draw it so it sort of looks a little bit better. We've got this here going on. If I keep drawing, I probably won't get it done, but you'll have to come back to see it. So we have this on here like this, so this is the ass end of it here. Maybe this is the ass end of it. That looks a little, to the front that does. If I, what I'm thinking is, on the top of this hauler, I have sheet metal all the way along and there's braces in between each piece. I still have to form the other side yet, but I can't form the other side until all mechanical work is done. I have not got all the stuff to do all the mechanical work right here, right now, because I just do not have it. I have to run for it, I have to find it, I have to purchase it, and that's how it's gonna rock and roll if you can understand that. Where it welds all the way along there, I have a rib every two feet. And when I weld it down there, I'm thinking that you're gonna see a little bit of this or a little bit of weebly wobbly going along the center down there, just a little bit. But in all honesty, um, in order to make that perfectly straight, this is what I'm gonna do. If I take uh, one inch, I can, get, I can buy one inch by, by three. So one inch by three, so if, if I stack that three high, I can get three inch high, one inch. So if I build my fin out of the one inch, I can take one by three and run it from this point right to the front to this point. Now, when I put the fin on it, I'm not sure if I should let it all the bag or not, but um, what's going on right now is, is I want to run a strip down through the middle to match that bad boy over there. And in order to make it nice and rigid and just rigid and strong, I'm thinking if I did it of the one by three and I welded it to the top of this truck from the length from there down to there, there's no other way than it looking, it would look straight. There's positive, you know what I'm saying? It would actually straighten the top of the truck up just by welding it on there and without having sheet metal going all the way down and being welded all the way there, that would straighten it out with just one, one run. 
So if I'm going to do that, I have to build a, make a piece, a buck or something. I'm going to cut three pieces out of that square stock there. I'm going to weld them together. I'm going to plant them up there here in the center. And then I'm going to make my fin. When I make my fin, then I know when I run my, uh, when I run my one by three up here, my fin's going to match my one by three. It's like my face and my ass, a match. They don't look alike. They just belong together. So the fin I'm making is this one. So we're going to come from, I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make a nice swoop up like, like yay. And then we're going to make a nice swoop down like, like so. We're going to be up here a little bit. Hope I got enough square stock to do it. If not, I'll weld some together. We'll be up here somewhere. And then we'll be able to run a fin all the way down through. And what I do with the rest of it from there on out, you'll have to stay tuned and watch. So that's what I plan on doing. I plan on running. It does not look the greatest right there. Up there like that. And then that's supposed to run down through there and so forth and whatever. So we're going to do that. That's what kind of fin we're going to have on the back of it. And there's many different ways that you can do it. Yes, there is, but I'm going to go with that. And here we go. Do si do and the way we go. So plans have changed and um, I'm excited to put a fin on the back of it. I think it's going to give it a different look. And I want to thank the person that sent in the little rendering, little drawing there to inspire me to go for it. not be cutting that up I should be looking in the in the parts in the spare metal bin for that should not be cutting that should be just grabbing a few pieces over here and using that look how easy that was that was silly of me very silly all right look at that right there <laughs> that was anyways I'm gonna weld these together because I know I can buy one by three I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. And the reason being is, I want to get a visual. Everybody likes a visual. See how I put them? Smaller, bigger, then bigger. Huh? I'm funny like that. Somehow, some, some, just some way my brain, I do not like it if certain things happen, if something's crooked or, kind of that way but I've built many things crooked believe me and it does not hurt my feelings one bit long as long as you can't tell <laughs> basically that's it and as long as you can't tell I don't care let's weld these together I have a long time apart, but just to make sure. There's my fin, I'm done. Isn't that cute? Huh? Cute little fin, eh? You could do that if you wanted to. You want a small fin, but what we're going to do is we're going to put that up there. That's going to, we're going to have to knock and weld that on there. We're going to knock that on. Then we're going to bring our fin from this top piece up, down. That's the buck because we're going to be running a piece of one by three all the way through, 12 feet long. This 12 feet from here to there. It was three sheets of metal with a little bit cut off, 12 feet. Now, what I want to do is, is I want to roll a piece of this one inch stuff. I hope I have enough. I want to roll a piece of this to get a little bit of roll going on. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It's already rained twice, <laughs> but can't hold that against it. Can't hold that against this. Let's do this.
Dinner. This little roller has done a pile of work. It's built that whole truck, if you haven't noticed. Alrighty. Now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of a roll in this bad boy. See what happens? You notice some red fenders there? I'm not gonna tell you why. I'm bad today. That's why they call me bad chair. Roll this. Just want a little bit of a roll. Anything with a little bit of contour in it generally looks better than just straight. So I could run the fin straight, yes I could, but with a little bit of contour in it, it'll look a lot better. And I find if you put the contour out, it even looks better again than in. A little bit more. I'm gonna roll it back before I do it. Thank everybody for coming back, taking a watch. And uh, I am getting, what I am, I am getting a little bit restless with the Bugatti hauler. And the reason I'm getting restless with it, is because now I, when I look at it, I only see repeat of what I done on the other side. So when I come in this morning and Jolene, you know, was talking about the fin or the, you know, the dorsal fin on the truck, it gave me new life. And the reason it gave me new life is because I had to make something. And uh, I really enjoy that making something, obviously. And I feel it's gonna be a very good visual on the, on the Bugatti hauler. It's gonna be a nice visual. Something I think that's easy to make, but yet it has to be made to the eye to look good or it will not. A dunno. That's good. And there's and there's one thing right there where I've just done the how much roll I put in it. That's a decision I had to make whether I'm going to like it on the truck. That's a decision. And you when you're making something, when you make something, you have to make the same decisions. You have to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Jolene's my holder and folder. Alrighty. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get enough out of this. See, I don't even know what height I want, how far to go. Mm. Let's take a tape measure. I don't usually do that, but tape measure on the other side maybe. So I've got a few different plans for uh, the hauler and um, it kind of gave me new life. It did, give me new life. I'm not gonna tell you what exactly what it is, you have to come back and watch. But there's some more fabrication that I have to do. Tell me how high, like six feet? Yeah, like that. Six feet? Yeah. All right, shouldn't have to ask you twice, should I? Six feet leaves me two feet. Ooh. I don't know, baby. I might have to weld a piece of that to it. Six feet. Yeah, gives us a foot of. She likes it, I cut it. How's that? Just stop messing around. Let's get it cut. We can what? Negotiate. I don't want to negotiate. I want to make, I want. I just want to go with it. You said you liked it? Go for it. And I'm gonna mark six feet with it bent. So it'll take a little bit away from it, right? It'll take a little bit away from it.
a reason I'm being frugal, um, saving, whatever, um, is because I've only got one piece of one inch square stock. Me and Jolene have to run to get steel after this, metal. Man, I love having these jets. Love it. Absolutely love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, pitcher's rate. Slow down, Chetty. Pitcher's rate there. I'm not sure what kind of shark that would be, but it's the shark that we're making. No, no, it's not going that way. It's going that way. No, yeah. looks like longer than two feet, doesn't it? Huh? That looks good for the back, does it not? Too long? It looks too long. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? It sort of does look too long. What if I lean it down some? There you go. It's still too long. Once come off, we're here. Yeah. We'll just leave it like that for a second. We'll just stand back and take a look at it. Let's do this. We got it just enough. Mm -hmm. Let's bend this piece a little bit more. We'll just leave that piece for a second. Let's bend this piece. I got to do a little bit of work to get that on there, but we'll do it. Um, Let's put it in the roller, see if I can roll it a little bit more. Just a little piece. Just a little bit. I'd beat it with a hammer, but this stuff is tough as nails. Tough as nails. It really is. this up here now I gotta cut that and put that over top of that this is going to be another thing that's going to be welded to that hitch to give it more strength we still got a bumper to come around it's going to be welded to the hitch that hitch is going to be so strong we could throw it off the Bay of Fundy and wouldn't hurt it Just got a nice, have a nice flow, that's all. We can cut that, that's nice, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'll cut this piece down here, get that angled off. Probably should set that down, but we'll leave it there for a minute. Don't go near it if it's gonna fall, please. Get 
just enough room to fall and hit me in the back of the head, wouldn't it, huh? Huh? Just enough. Ouch. Yow. You pull that in my finger, baby? See it? Thank you. Nothing worse than a piece of metal in the finger, I can tell you that. I'm just gonna grab the step ladder for a second. As soon as I like it, I'm gonna go up and stand right on top. They'll probably take off on me. Just, it's just gonna have a nice flow when it comes to that piece down there. That's all I'm thinking. Like, it's gonna flow nice. That's not bad, is it, baby? No. I like that, actually. Let's do that. No, I'm gonna weld this on first. I cannot mark it and cut it. I gotta, I gotta get that to weld it on. I got a little spot here where I'm gonna cut that square stock and put it down on top of that and then weld it on that hitch and then it'll be on there. Let's get a, let's cut a piece in this. hitting. Oh, it's all right. No, it's kind of 45 a little bit. Get a little bit of a 45. hitting the weld. I just want to get it fit there the best I can. Fits there nice. That's got a nice gap in between there, so I think I'm gonna go with that. That, that suits me. That makes me happy. We all know that that, that uh, that's powder coated, and that does not weld very good at all. So I made sure I set up this little bad boy. Let's do this. I like it. I 
Lanky. Lanky. And I can adjust that wherever I like it the most. Uh, we know we're in center. I like how it's I like how it's setting along there. Yeah, I'm gonna weld it. Couldn't ask any more. Put it, baby. We know it's center down here. Could be off a little bit, I'm not sure. We'll just tack it. So you could come over more. We'll do we'll just tack it first and then then we'll deal with it that way because we can move it either way as long as we tack it and tack it on one side just want to tack it on there good that's all trying to burn in it's got a little room on each side of that, so that means I can bend it, either way. I'm gonna go to the top. It's a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll. I'm gonna tack that piece in place, just so I know it's in place. I'm gonna get a C-clamp. So we're running down through the center. That's all I'm looking for. Climbing this thing like I work it, don't I? Huh? Climbing it like I work it. Now, yeah. looks pretty good. No, it looks excellent, actually. Sitting on, hmm. I need a little piece of metal. Reason is, it's leaning over a little bit. I want to, I want to fair it up a little. So I get a little piece of metal here. I've got 18 gauge on this side, nothing on this side, so it's making that pipe lean over a little bit. Don't want that. So, so I'm going to make it fair. You got metal on that side, we have metal on this side. Here we go. And now we're talking. Can't see. Um, what can I not see? Cannot see if it's center though. It's about center. Okay, that's better. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't have to. I should roll back down, I really should. Just tack it down so I can cut it off at any point in time. One tack there. One tack there. Let's come in with a zip cut now. Knock it off, not a, not a problem. Not a, not a, not a, not a problem. So this is the fun part being able to do whatever you want. Adding something to a car that's not supposed to be there, you know, you're going out on a limb, whether someone likes it or not. And it really doesn't matter, as long as you're happy. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. 
getting up there so I can make a nice mark. And then I can cut it. This square stock has got lots of strength to it. Woo, woo, woo. She's... Good thing I tapped it. Tell me where you like it. Sweetheart, you like it there too much? You like it like that? Where does it have a nice flow right here? Is that a nice flow? Yep. Nice flow? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. She's using my own words on me, boys. Not bad. Um. Okay, so? Yep. Good. Yeah. It's got quite a ways to go to being moved back and forth. So I'm gonna tack it again down there. I'm gonna tack it again down there. Just just to play it safe. Because it's quite a quite a length that I can play with that back and forth. So I can go back and forth it a little bit. Just gonna tack it again. That way there when I go to cut it, I'm hoping that it's not gonna fall off. Because I'm gonna cut it right on there. I'll cut it right there. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a trekky poo, I think. Now, um, I want to weld it. I just, I just want to weld it so it stays on. That's all. I'm not. I can complete welding it once I cut it. I'm gonna secure it a little bit better. But also, I wanna bend it. I need B. I need B. Okay, we're gonna get a zip cut. Where, where I have this piece here, when I stick that piece onto this piece, if I just cut it off, then I'm gonna have an opening spot. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna cut it off, but I'm gonna leave an inch so I can cover that. And that way there, it just kind of gives me a better looking finish. If I do not do that, then I have to cut a piece and fill the end in. But if I can cut it and leave the end on it, I'll be cooking with gas. Because I'll have a piece to put on the other piece here. Sometimes this is ah got myself in a booby trap. And I did just what I didn't want to do. Grr. Where there's smoke, there's fire. that door in. I don't know. That can, that can stay there. That won't go nowhere. That can stay there. I'm going to cut it.
Hard go, I know. Hard go. Yeah. Probably knock that down a bit, I did. Now I'm gonna get down and take a look at it. See if I even like it. Guess it doesn't even matter. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. <laughs> All right. She likes it, boys. Alrighty. I want to make this fit a little bit better. I'm going to take and make a better line here, make it a little shorter of a cut. How do I want to do that? I want to make that shorter. That was hitting at the bottom. As I do that, I haven't done it the whole time because I haven't had that wheel the whole time, but as I do that and round that off, all that does is give me more room for the weld. That's all that does. I'm gonna knock this bad boy on. Gotta get a helmet on. Put that up. Here. what you call freedom right here. Freedom! Doing whatever you please to make it look like you want to. Freedom. That's what that is. It's called freedom. That fits a lot better there, does it not? Whoa, does that fit good? Man, oh man. Just one tack. Hold it in place while I come up here. And when, when, when I take this and run this one by three up here, it's got a little tinkle dinkle there a little bit. I'll just run the welder back and forth there a little bit. Put a little weld in there, put a little weld in there, put a little weld in there, and then give it a nice grade. If you're wondering how I'm gonna do that. Um, this side over here. I'm gonna have to run the grinder down to that just a little, just a little bit. That side's nice. We can push it either way. We're up, we got a, we got a, a, we got a poopy cut on that. holding me up on this side. Why is that not performing right now? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's weld it. Doesn't matter what it is, what it's doing. Let's weld it. I don't like how crooked it's sitting. It seems to be sitting crooked. That's what I like right there. Just a little bit more. Now. Packed. Gonna get down and take a look at it. Be crazy for me to just weld it on. Absolutely crazy. Jolene looks amazing today. Got her nice little tight fitting jeans on. Nice little white crop top. Little belly showing. Little jean shirt. So, 
Little safety glasses, hair's hanging long. Cool. So, as I see, like I was talking about, you can see a little bit of oom um, right there. I would fill that full of weld there a little bit, or even add like a little piece of metal or whatever, just to let put it in there, get it going, grind it off nice. We've got this tacked up here, so we can just cut that off. We can fill that all in now, just one piece. So we're running a piece of one by three, all the way down through the center. And you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with that after, because I'm not gonna show you right now. I'm gonna tack this together. I'm gonna look at it and uh, go from there. Let's just put another tack here because I'm happy with it. This is coming off. This is just to hold it. going to tack that down for there for now that's all it's just going to be holding it in place for now um. uh. this is almost like being at at Ford Motor Company or Chev dealership and, and you're designing a car and um, instead of 15 people or 16 people saying no oh, yay I like it or I don't like it me and Jolene say, yep, let's do it. We're just gonna do it. It's over with, it's called freedom. So when you do your car, make sure that you do it your way. Do it your way. I think that looks cool. If not, it's something different. Probably no one's gonna see ever going down the road. Not in Nova Scotia, that's for sure. But we're gonna continue that right down to the front. And if I look towards Bugatti, which I'm going to, I'll probably end up coming right down through the front windshield right to the grill just like jolene's car right to the grill and then we'll have something like no one's ever seen before if you come up here and look down through the middle of it jolene take a look at it that's cooler than dang it we got a little bit of a graze going on it not too much not too little just right now if you can picture it if you come back tomorrow um you'll get to see that probably be sheathed in and you'll really get the visual that's just an outline um, but yesterday or today, I did a little, yesterday and today, did some more work, got the, got the, this is just what you call recap of what I did over there. I was a little smarter this time <laughs> when, I, when, when I made the boxes. So this one, um, toolbox, toolbox, door, and a door. Did the door exactly like I did the back and like I did the other side. That didn't change that up at all. But uh, I had the door sitting in here nice. And I want it back in here nice. If I can get it in there nice. Ooh. Get my fingers out of there. That's what I can do. Put a magnet on it. Pull it out. Ha -ha. It's not hinged yet, obviously. Ha ha ha. Not hinged yet. Get it back in there so it's hinged. Stop it. Why am I having? I just wonder why I'm having. 
having an issue. Anyways, I'm having an issue. Ah, I knew I was having an issue. Stop it. <clears throat> Better than you think. Anyways, had that on there, had to put it back in place. Got the door back on. Uh, Jolene came up with a thing today that I'm probably am gonna end up doing with this, and it's gonna be another design change. And uh, if you like it, throw in a comment. If you like it, you should share it. If you share it, you should get someone to subscribe. Thank you very much for coming back. We really appreciate it. We really do. Jolene looks amazing today. And I'm all sweaty today. But there's the fin. Design change. Have a good one, everybody.